Hi everyone, welcome back. So we're in chapter seven, prioritizing client care. So this chapter is, again, filled with a lot of information that is pretty unnecessary to know for your test, but always good to skim through. So the critical pathway is something that I feel like I did not spend a lot of time on in nursing school, but it was something that was brought up a few times. So I think it does have some significance to it. It's to anticipate client problems early so the right action can be taken to treat or prevent those problems. So it's sort of like, like a chart or some sort of diagram that shows step by step what issues can arise. Um, I like it because it's more of a preventative approach. The nursing care plan. So this is very important in nursing school. Oh my gosh, during clinicals, I spent sometimes just half the night making my nursing care plans. But it's really important and it's something that you should spend time on because, again, it's, it's kind of a holistic way of looking at people and their health problems, which I think is the way to look at people and their health problems. Um, so it's kind of a written guideline that identifies assessment data, problems, diagnoses, interventions, expected outcomes, things like that. Leadership style. So this is definitely a type of question that you could get on your NCLEX test. So an autocratic leader is someone who has strong control over the team. So this is someone who makes decisions, who addresses problems. They basically dominate the group. They command. It's Maybe someone who micromanages at work, someone like that. A democratic leader is someone who um, believes in participation, who believes that every group member should have input. Someone who has a laissez-faire style of management is someone who does the opposite of micromanage, someone who has a very passive and hands-off approach to leadership and basically the group is in charge of making decisions and being their own leaders. So a bureaucratic type of leadership style is a leader who basically relies on the organization's policies and procedures for decision making. So someone who really goes by the rule book, um, potentially is not open to sort of creative decision making or thinking outside of the box. So evidence-based practice is potentially the most important concept in nursing because it encompasses the client's preferences, whether that's religious, personal, or otherwise, plus the most recent science and data that supports, uh, you know, how you are as a nurse, what you implement, what you do, how you act, how you communicate, um, the strategies that are taken to help the individual, everything. Modes of conflict resolution. So this is definitely something that can show up on your test because it is just kind of definitions. So we have avoidance, which is someone who doesn't deal with an issue at all. We have accommodation, which is someone who neglects their own needs for the needs of others. So basically succumbs to whatever the other person or other people want. We have competition, which is pursuing your own needs at the expense of others. We have compromise, which is the most, the best strategy um, for conflict resolution because it takes into account other people's opinions and it's this mindset of being uh, creative and open to working together to find solutions. I can't even tell you how many times I have seen this question. It's about discharge planning and the only thing that I've seen about it is that the discharge planning begins when the client is admitted. So when they come into the facility, whatever facility that is, um, you start to plan when and how they're going to leave the facility. So delegation is briefly covered in this chapter. It is one of the most crucial concepts. You have to get this down for your test and for life as a nurse in general. I have a video 
dedicated to delegation and instead of going into it here I'm just going to refer you to that video because it has the most comprehensive information about delegation that you need. So triaging. This topic is really interesting to me and it's also very very important. Who you see first? Who is the most emergent case? Who is urgent and who is non-urgent? And this is so important because it's how you save lives. So emergent cases, and this is categorized by the color red, these are life-threatening injuries that have a high chance of survivability. Is survivability a word? I don't know. These are things like chest pain, respiratory distress, cardiac arrest, limb amputation, uh, neurologic defects that are acute, things like that where they need treatment right away. You can't wait to give them treatment or their chances of survival go way down. Urgent patients, uh, which is categorized by the color yellow, are high priority but basically require treatment but injuries are not life-threatening if treated within 30 minutes to two hours. Okay, so this is still high priority, um, but it's not the highest priority. So it's things like open fractures and large wounds. We also have non-urgent cases and the color associated with this is green. So this would be things that like local injuries that you can wait two hours or more for treatment and they're not going to die. Things like uh, closed fractures, minor lacerations, sprains, strains, things of that nature. And then we have the color black, which it's not even in any category necessarily, but it's marked by the color black and this always made me so sad, but it's people who don't have a chance of surviving. So this is interesting because you have highest priority and absolute lowest priority and you can have similar situations. So this is where you really have to use your nursing judgment and this just takes practice and years of experience to figure out, you know, who has a high chance of making it with nursing care right away and who shouldn't get care at all because there's really no benefit to it. They would die anyway. I always thought that was sad and it's a hard concept, you know. So there you have it, chapter seven. I hope it helped and look out for chapter eight, our next video in this series. And please like and subscribe for more content. Everything's free. Yeah, good luck.